My name is John Kerhenowitz. I'm a professor of radiology and biomedical imaging here at UCSF. My focus right now is in the area of prostate cancer, and I'm very interested in using innovative new imaging techniques to help men at the time of diagnosis to decide um, on what the best treatment is for them, and as well as once they decided on a treatment, uh, help them figure out whether the treatment was effective or not. So historically, prostate cancer was diagnosed based on pathologic analysis of tissue taken at a, um, an invasive biopsy, um, which only really samples a very small part of the prostate. Oftentimes we miss the most important cancers in the prostate because of this. Now with non-invasive imaging, we can follow its uptake and its metabolism throughout the body, giving us the ability for the first time to not only characterize the prostate cancer in the primary site of the prostate, but also after it's spread to lymph nodes and bone and other places. But even more importantly, to hopefully better assess how well the therapy is working, or if it stopped working, whether we can use this information to decide on a new therapy. Beyond that would be to integrate this technology into routine clinical use as we did with the Proton Multiparametric Exam. We led the world by performing the first phase one clinical trial here um, of this technique. And now we have multiple clinical trials ongoing in both um, early stage disease as well as late stage disease and trying to figure out how much more information it adds and how we can further improve um, this information that we're providing for patients and their doctors. The translation of new imaging techniques into routine clinical use really takes funding. And it's the funding for the equipment that we need um, to, to perform these studies, and also funding for the talented um, researchers, the students and the staff that are required in order to accomplish um, this translation. I, I feel very lucky to be at an institution that has the breadth of resources, um, the talented um, students and staff, the industrial collaborations that truly allows somebody like myself to take a technique, a new imaging technique, from the bench top all the way into routine clinical practice. The other one is, and actually the training of the people who are gonna become our future uh, engineers, our future scientists, who are gonna be pushing the envelope in healthcare in the future. Uh, it's, it's really great to be part of that legacy as well.